Okay, well the boys just went home. They just put that roller door down. That's the workshop there. And they, they just built this awning out here the other year. Last year, I think it was. A couple of trailers in there. And then, um, that truck there. I was driving and I got out of it, they gave me another truck and the next driver who got in it crashed it, rolled it over. That's just a single trailer there. A box here, a trailer. That's who we subcontract for, mainly all the time. That's like a. They must be selling this prime over here. You're parking out the back here. Must be selling this one. Are they selling this one? Oh, he's doing work on it. There's a couple, couple of boys going home there. That's uh, what do you got here? Shane Jono's old truck. And Gary's in that now. Down the back is produce shed and the rest of the yard. More trailers here. So these are these are the old ones. See, they have got super singles on the back of them. A couple of old ones. That's not part of the business, that's uh, some other sheds. I think they may own them here, I don't know, but someone else loses them. And that, that other building there is uh, the old Norco building, someone else is in that, leasing in there. So there's the workshop and the office up there. We'll go down to the... This is where we all park down here. Take me a while to walk down here. Video is three minutes. This was all dirt, this road, not long ago. The stage is sealed this last year, too. There used to be an electrician in that shed there, but now that's a tie fitting shop. Got a tie guy's in there. He's gone home. Staff parking at this side. Morning. So here's, if you look on the website, you'll see this shed, trucks in front of it, a few prime movers in front of this shed, it's the main photo of the website. These are, they don't look like there's anyone in this yard either. Looks like the produce boys have gone home. Here's a K200. 909. 909 with a trailer just drove out a little while ago, but I didn't get it on camera. I could probably show you inside one of these things. But That's running, probably ready to go. That's running, probably ready to go. I used to drive this one, cool cat a while ago. Back in uh, 2012, I was in that one. So if I ever come back here, I'll give you a tour of the truck inside, like, if I ever come back to work here. 
Uh, this one I've never driven. Boys use this thing here to work on the fridge motors. That stand looking thing. There's more staff car parks along there sort of thing. What's that? An old trailer washing thing or something. I don't know, maybe they're going to get it going again. This is a FTE. Fiberglass transport equipment trailer. Pallets. Pallets here. Produce is all gone home. A couple of ramps here. Movie load produce. Videos at six minutes. So this is where we load produce. A couple of ramps here. There are the straight trucks, the body trucks that go around collecting all the produce and product from around this area. This is just more parking, more truck parking here. Old backhoe, old pallets. Uh, that straight truck doesn't run. I don't think they use that one. Old trailer. And um, speaking of like bone yards, this is a old bone yard. Let's see. That's a water cart, they don't use that. It's definitely a bone yard. This is our fuel, this, this they use this to top all of the um, fuel tanks up on the trailers. Then they're all sitting in the yard humming away. And then back here we got more of the bone yard. From behind there. There's a couple there. Not good, eh? Not good. And there's another old straight. Oh no, that's a bit of a trailer. Back there. In front of a trailer. There's another story behind any of those, really. Except for that one that was in the shadow earlier. That they're rebuilding that one. That'll probably be in like trucking life soon. Mm -hmm. in, like a truck magazine over here. Probably do it up and get it in that. That's what happened with the last one they did up. Had an accident and they rebuilt it. Well, one, of, one of the ones that had an accident they rebuilt it and they put it in the, like a truck magazine over here called Trucking Life. Just show you a B-double down here. I won't show you inside any of these trucks because I'm not driving any of them right now. So there's no point in really me showing you the inside of one of them because, or any of them, because I don't drive any of them right now. Typical B double setup, it's a K200. So that's the yard. Video is at nine minutes. Not too bad. It's the back of some of the top enders have like a car that they will use to run around. They might run 30 or 40 k's from here to swap drivers, so they'll use it just like a staff car to do that. And some of them are parked in here in this shed. Walk back the other way. And the river's just over that levee bank there. There's a big open drain just the other side of this um, blue metal here. What we're walking on now. The other side of that big drain. An old trailer, I don't know if they use that for storage or what. 
little trial. It's definitely... I think they used to. Look, there's a fuel tank there and everything for it. And it's definitely permanently fixed. I don't know what's in the back of it. We'll probably have a look. A few staff cars here. I think it's under lock and key. Yeah, she's locked up. Can't look in that. Yeah, so there's not many, many trucks in the yard right now. Sometimes it's a lot fuller than this. And I can't, I could show you in the shed, but I won't. Just, um, oh, it's all locked up. Yeah. There's no other blue western stars in here either. The new ones. It's good. That's about it. Okay, we'll catch you later. Yeah.